Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley and we're going to be doing a 3v3 online multiplayer battle. This is going to get going right away. So it's going to be Egypt against Rome. Rules for this battle were essentially that uh, each army had to bring three ships. I was trying to force a naval engagement, so we're going to get just that. And uh, here you can see my Egyptian flagship coming straight out of the harbor. And uh, my allies actually opted in for a couple supporting vessels. Um, the Romans went mostly light with these javelin men. They're kind of biding the time of some of these larger ships. And um, yeah, they're going to be swarming around here. You can see some of us making the, the outing, although most of our catapults are going to be positioned at this choke point. We are starting to disembark some of our javelin men. And uh, they're deciding that given the numerical superiority of our forces, we're going to be deciding to pull back. And these um, triremes are going to be trying to do the best, although they are just levies, so I will be getting the best of them. You can see just how uh, large our navy is. We actually went for more than was required. We figured we'd have a huge naval advantage. Sweep this up. And uh, if I can take you on a tour of what's going on here. So three of the Roman armies, one of them has deployed here. Double combined force on this front. And he's got two of these Roman ballista firing to take down these walls. The enemy army is moving up here with some of these uh, siege towers, ladders, and they're mostly taking out this gate here and these towers. You can see one of them already starting to crumble. So our plan was to come in here and just absolutely mop up the enemy army, which is what we're doing. And we're hoping of moving in these artillery pieces, positioning them right here, and just absolutely laying waste to any forces coming up here. Um, however, we're being held up a bit too long by these Roman forces. The Conquerium here are staying a safe distance away and just forcing our guys back. We're getting in a bit of a bottleneck, so the Roman strategy was basically all out assault on the walls, hold us back at this point, and so that's why we you saw the deployment of some of our beach troops here, just to, uh, you know, if we can't make it the distance to cover um, that advance, then we're gonna go ahead and send them in. Already we have some of our ballista units right there, actually trying to get in on the fight. So there we go, sinking the remainder of these forces. And I have some of my own uh, honor drug units here getting some shots on the walls. But let's go ahead and watch some of this. Romans now have taken to the city walls. So they have breached the city. Here we go. These are going to be some really elite troops. And you can see the rest of them piling into the area. More of the Romans coming in with these siege ladders. And the rest of the fireballs just taking out the city gates. So that's going to make it much easier for them to deploy. The rest of these are going to be mostly Syrian archers anticipating uh, just hailing the, the city with fireballs. And we can see all of these basically taking out that last tower. Let's go ahead and watch the rest of this force. One Roman, one entire Roman army went for all of these auxiliary and legionary cav. So he was intending to basically knock down one of these walls. As you can see him doing right here, he's basically obliterated it. And then he's going to come in with his cavalry. What we've done, however, is position a lot of traps here. So you can see a lot of these hidden pits on top of these beds, more hidden pits. And what we're doing is we're starting to position some of these archers up here. So we know he's going to come in with cavalry, so the idea was to position some of these archers up here. And I was going to support that with some of our pikemen that are starting to get in position. We also have some additional cavalry units positioned here, elephants in the back, and we're starting to uh, tackle some of these areas here. Now I've positioned my own general up on this uh, area here. And what I was intending to do is just draw out his uh, urban forces here. So take a look at that. His guys on the wall are going to be trying to hold off against my units. So under a cloud and a, basically a, a swarm of these arrows just coming out up at his men, I'm going to be able to hold them at this position with my own general and then just start picking off his own units. So you can see them here falling relatively quickly. So I'm using this as a choke point. And the rest of our forces are starting to come in here. The artillery is getting some shots on to these forces here, so we're doing a good job. But now they've cracked the gates. So they're going to be coming through, or actually they've um, cracked the towers and they've captured this. So now they have the gates. So here comes the rest of this army swarming forward. They're going to be disembarking over here and right over here is where they're going to have some of these Praetorian guards. So these are going to be really, really the, um, the key force that's going to break this city see some of them up there and they're going to be moving out relatively soon. He's going to be going to capture this position here and now they've let basically this horde into the city. Moving in with the Syrian archers, these guys are going to be very dangerous, heavily armored. There's not much we can do against that except maybe deploy our cavalry. You can see us down here 
with these rows and rows of defenses and then the elephants moving in the background. This is the epic siege that I always imagined when I saw the first sort of live action thing for, uh, not live action, but the first actual gameplay of Rome 2, the Siege of Carthage. This is how I envisioned it, and that's actually how it's kind of going to go down in this battle. But uh, the gate is cracked, and now you can see what they're going to be doing. Their plan was to just charge in through the side with their cavalry, starting to move off the hill. So first going to be moving in with the quick and nimble Numidian Cav. So he's holding here just for an instant, waiting for the rest of his cavalry to start moving into position. And he's outside the range of these towers, however, they've been obliterated, so that was a good move on their part. And I think they're questioning, why is this entire place open? Um, but we do have some archers here, and I'm repositioning these pikemen over back here. I know he's coming in with all these cavalry, so I'm moving in my elephants to hold off this position. Ca um, pikemen here, and then we have archers on top. Meanwhile, at sea, we've essentially um, obliterated those forces. Um, our mobile catapults are actually staying in position here. What they're going to be doing is starting to take out some of these units on the wall. So, for instance, uh, combined with their fire and my archer fire, we will take these guys out. The rest of the Romans are going to be piling in through here. And uh, our feeble attempts at sending in something just to hold them at bay was uh, just destroyed. So the Romans killed the first, what well, you could say maybe the these are the, the guardsmen. So the Romans seized, seized this gate, and now they're going to be storming in with all of their men through the front. Let's watch the cavalry as they go in. They've lost a decent amount of men. They're going to be slowed down, and they're just going to be getting killed by this trap. They're actually going to be charging forward. Some of our archers came down off the wall. I think it was a bit of a glitch. Um, and my own pikemen are going to be holding here. I have some javelin men in the back. Watch some of that. So I'm going to be holding these cavalry at bay behind this wall of spears. Uh, but this is just the, the forefront of his cavalry. These are mostly disposable guys meant to soak up the traps, soak up the fire, and uh, just do as much preliminary damage as possible. But uh, yeah, watch most of these guys get obliterated point blank by these archers. So we're doing pretty well, but now they're going to decide to charge, especially with the reinforcements from the Roman troops. Streaming across this courtyard, here we go. More and more of them. And this is just going to be uh, the opening army sent in before they send in all these cavalry guys and then additional Roman legionnaires in through the front. Some of their own archers are going to be firing the Syrians up over the side, basically trying to annihilate what's here. My elephants are going to have to pick and choose their battles. I can't throw them in immediately just because of all the archer fire. I don't want them going rampant, so I'm going to send them back here. The Romans are now pushing through this courtyard, swarming through here. They're going to try and push through our defenses, however they're a bit wary. Let's watch some of this. More in the back are waiting. They're going to let the Syrian archers soften us up as much as possible. And then they're swarming through these courtyards, forming a line here, um, basically facing off against our own men. Pikemen from our side are going to be moving into position. And over here we have some of the supporting fire from our guys in the bay. I've engaged with some of the Romans. So they're going to be trying to hold these guys back. Let's watch some of this. Uh, however, the Romans are going to sandwich us, so he's going to get my mercenary Cretans. We were caught out. I did engage some of these Evocates with my own Thorax Swordsman, but my guys are going to be going down. My general is still up here. I lost some of my archers in this brawl. Uh, and you can see them, how they got caught by these Romans who did a bit of a pincer on us. But we're going to be fighting to the death, sending in some more pikemen over to this side to try and reinforce. Let's watch this other engagement here where they're pushing through. So they're going to be chasing away these archers. We're going to be pulling them just deeper into this maze with our towers. So that will hopefully be able to pick off his men. Towers are extremely powerful. My elephants are just waiting for the perfect choke point. Probably this one to engage with his guys. The legionaries, foot soldiers are going to be moving around this side. They know that I'm blocking that way with my pikemen. These guys are going to start absorbing a lot of fire. But they're basically holding back. Look at that. That entire horde of Romans. Can't go anywhere because of these pikes. However, they're going to pay dearly for it. So he's just going to be moving around the side. My own javelin men are going to be positioned here just to try and hold back the Romans for the time being. Allow me to pull back with these pikemen as they do that. Take a look at this. All of the Roman forces are going to be coming forward. So they're going to be pushing through here. This is where I'm going to pull in with my elephants. I just bypass his triarii. And now my uh, basically javelin men are going to be doing what they do best, which is be fodder for my forces. And it's going to allow my elephants to come in crashing through the back so now I can watch some of that. So I'm going to be getting a lot of uh, good hits with these elephants, stampeding into this block, holding back his entire force. And because I decided to engage here, 
I'm going to get some good kills, not only because of the density of enemy forces, but also because uh, all his archers are really not within good range to shoot at my guys. He's going to be sending in his own cavalry. I'm more than uh, happy to uh, entertain that notion, just because my elephants do a pretty good amount of damage, and any charge he's going to get through here is going to you know, run over some of his own men. Meanwhile, it's going to be diverting more and more of his guys from this front, where I have pikemen trying to hold off these Roman soldiers in the front, and then we have more of these pike lines back here. However, most of their attention is going to be sort of slowly gazing off at the distance where the Roman troops are pushing forward with more of the Syrian archers. Some of them had pushed up, fallen, you know, subject to some of these traps. However, most of them went over to this area here, starting to capture these points, absolutely wrecking my guys. Uh, I still have some formal resistance here, however, the last of it was mopped up, so the Romans going almost temple to temple, courtyard to courtyard, exterminating all of our guys and then just filtering in the reinforcements. Over on this flank, I do have a bit of a force that's been able to hold back my general unit and then some other guys hoping to hold back the enemy forces here. So we're gonna be doing just that with the supporting fire of our tower. So this is gonna be the last remnant of uh, you know defense on this side. And then also we have some of our supporting vessels still getting some shots off against these towers. Um, we were able to disembark some of our forces with the supporting fire, so it's a little bit of a case of too little, too late. But we're going to keep trying to mop up these forces. Um, we are able to collapse part of this tower. Part of this wall, I believe, actually. So this is going to be starting to collapse. Killed a lot of this uh, Praetorian Guard unit, so I figured I might as well send in this uh, Egyptian infantry unit that disembarked from my Admiral ship and try and mop up these, uh, these Praetorians. However, they're going to do an about face and... Uh, these guys are just so powerful that they're going to be able to knock out the uh, the minority of guys who made it up to this place, and they're going to wipe me out. So our beach landing here has gone just the absolutely worst way possible. However, you can see in the distance, our guys making it up the uh, the ladders, but in the distance, basically Romans countercharging, forcing our guys back. We're still going to get some supporting fire, so you can see our plan would have worked early on if we had been able to shoot all these. Um, the artillery shots at the guys as they made a push for the gate but as I said it's too little too late and they just have a preponderance of these Syrian archers and these guys will clean up any of our attempts to try and move across here so watch as our guys in the distance start to get picked off and just forced back but here's one of the artillery shells chasing after these Romans so at least we're gonna be able to keep them at bay and try and make somewhat of a, of a push through here he's gonna be charging into this mass of just men and pikes and, uh, yeah, my elephants finally went down just because of the amount of uh, shots that was put into them. All the additional legionnaires that came in through their javelins. So uh, they ended up being killed, but I think they bought us enough time. We're falling back to this inner plaza, again, losing more and more land. But uh, every time the Romans charge, they're charging into a line of spears and pikes and other units. And then we still have some cavalry in the back waiting for an opportunity. More of these pike lines. And here are some of these awesome, uh, I can't remember what they're called, Sobit Cultus. So these are DLC from the uh, the Animals DLC. And these guys are very good. However, they're going to get swarmed by now more more of these Roman reinforcements coming in. We still have some units here trying to hold this corner. But the force that I showed you actually over here, the Romans, were actually intercepted by some of these uh, archers from uh, one of our allies who was positioned sort of at the rear over here. He filtered to them in through here. So what he's doing is kind of cool. These were Egyptian archers that were disembarked from this area here. They came across this bridge, and now they're going to be reinforcing, saving our asses. And then he also has some of these Nubian spearmen guarding the back of this position, this last temple. But these guys are going to be doing a cool falling back and retreating uh, technique. So the Romans on this side are not very numerous. They're kind of going um, and rampaging through. However, because we know the city layout better, we're going to be able to draw them into these traps. So look what look what they're running into. It's really cool how this battle developed. It's almost like it was a realistic battle with all these, uh, you know, the attackers being drawn into these types of traps. But here you go. The Romans who thought they had the skirmishers on the run are now going to be facing this entire block. So you can see all of them getting shots off. And here's this Roman unit starting to put their shields up. Um, and now they're going to realize just what they're facing. So I think they're going into Testudo. Let's watch some of that. So they're going to try pushing forward more and more of these arrows in their shields. However, it's not going to be enough. We can just mop these guys up. So little by little, these guys are going to get picked off. And this is where they're going to start scattering. 
So yeah, like I was saying, this uh, battle is developing in a really, really, really cool way. There we go, we broke some of them. So these um, remaining Roman un units are going to be scattered and destroyed. And some of our forces here, actually, what's really cool is from this bay, they can actually put some supporting shots into the Romans pushing through here. So some of the shots are falling a bit short. However, the rest of them, you'll see they're going to start landing hits right in this corridor here. We'll see that soon. The mess of this fight is still going on. They're going to be basically throwing their archers into the Sobek cultists. So those archers are probably out of ammo, so he's decided to sacrifice them. But given the high armor that they have, he figures like that, yeah, he can pick off a couple of them. In the back, the rest of the Romans are going to be charging forward, throwing their pillar, obviously. Let's watch some of this charge coming in. So surprisingly, half of these are going to be stuck in the palm trees, but the rest are really going to be tearing into our men. However, right, look at this, the supporting fire. Watch some of these shots. They're going to be coming tearing into um, these uh, Praetorians. So it looks like they're going to be swarming our guys, and uh, they pretty much are, but at least we're just doing a falling back holding action. So there's one of those shots tearing through another shot coming in. So we're just absolutely pinning these guys and hitting them from the side. But some of these motherfuckers are still getting up, so uh, pretty incredible. Another shot just tearing through the ranks of these Praetorians. So our investment in ships was mostly a waste, but at least we're still able to salvage some of the supporting fire into that position. Continue to fall back to some of these pikes. Um, and these Sobek cultists are just going to get absolutely um, massacred by, on one hand, these uh, depleted archers, but on the other side, uh, the Praetorians who are really going to cut into these forces over here. Even though we have so many spears, uh, you know, we can only put them up in so many directions before, you know, a lucky hit will get through them and start killing our men. So this is where the cavalry are. But let's just look at some of this. All of these guys basically killed all over here. So a very epic siege. Some of the Romans are going to be fleeing, so we have killed a decent amount of them. Let's go ahead and watch what this... Oh, actually, let's watch this first. So here's the Romans who decided that enough is enough. They're going to be fleeing the scene. But from a strategic perspective, let's take a look and see what's happening here. So we've cleaned up like we anticipated with the ships very easily. These guys are going to be putting supporting fire. These guys came in here and they've allowed us to help clean up the rest of this. We're disembarking some of the uh, troops to try and recover some of these capture points. However, Rome is dispatching some of the, uh, or no, they're retreating, but some of these guys, I believe, yeah, auxiliary Syrian archers, some of them are being sent back to halt this counterattack. The rest of the Romans are sitting here with these sort of half-strength Praetorian guard. They're going to be pushing forward. They're trying to envelop this position. Over in the back here, we're kind of falling back with these small contingents of Nubian spearmen. And then the archers who were in the back, um, over here who did the mop-up in the back alleys, they're going to be coming in trying to hold that last position. The Romans still have some artillery pieces here, but from a large scale, most of the battle is going to be taking place in this central corridor. I just watched some of that. Syrian archers are pretty much exhausted, almost out of ammo, and they're seeing more and more of their men turn around. So they must be, you know, almost disheartened. Some of them you can see here redeploying. Most of the guys who are still going to be happy are the cavalrymen and the heavy infantry. They've been doing really well so far. And there you go. Some of the Romans are disengaging, pulling back, and uh, they just don't want to engage uh, needlessly against some of these pikes. They're going to allow the cavalry in the back to clean up our forces, and then these cavalry are going to charge right in through here. The cultists basically died. So uh, they didn't go alone. They almost took out, you know, one or two regiments of those uh, units of those Syrian archers. However, those guys had depleted their ammo. So good use of uh, fodder units from our opponent's standpoint. And look at these Romans, kind of just taunting us, waiting behind this, kind of sending one unit at a time, waiting behind this wall of spears, and just sending all these poor, poor Syrian archers <laughs> to go soak up the fire and just tire out our men. So there you go, he's retreating his Praetorians, sending in more fodder units, and just trying to just send bodies at us. But that's something the Romans can get away with, just because we're so low in numbers. And the cavalry forces here are making some headway. Um, our guys, the Thorax Horsemen, are 32 of them left. He's going to again disengage and decide to charge in with the Roman Cav. Actually, some of them snuck around from the other side, so they're going to be engaging our cavalry who are positioned here. Our guys are going to counter charge soon, I believe. Some of them you can see here getting into the mix, but mostly he's going to bypass them and charge into the spears. However, we, we were able to turn them around at the last moment. So these spears are definitely holding up this plaza, and look at this, cleaned up this side. So now this entire plaza has 
not really been cleared, but uh, at least made uh, preventable from rear attacks. So that's going to be good for us. Really cool, the level of detail in these cities. And just the lone Roman giving up here and there. So cool. Let's go ahead and watch the main fight fire at the gates actually the gates close on us so we're gonna have to try and actually come back into our own gates kind of funny so that's what's holding us back and I'm gonna be moving in with some of my artillery who are previously shelling the beach over here I'm gonna be moving this into this position to try and give some more supporting fire let's watch this engagement over on this side Roman cavalry and the Egyptian cav have exchanged fire here so we'll be trying to clean that up however our archer is in the back Really, the support forces the last remaining guys. Almost you would imagine the citizen who are given bows and told to, to hold to the last or you will be slaughtered. So that's what they're doing right here. And the spearmen are trying to cover them, so also weak units. But uh, they do enough to hold you know those forces at bay. And they're going to be our last hope. So that's going to be the last line of defenses. Spearmen positioned right in this gap between the temples. And they're just going to be putting shots into the Romans. Romans have done relatively a good job in clearing our forces, however these light cab were able to finish them off, and they're actually going to be pulling back to the further position here behind these uh, these units, so kind of drawing, trying to draw the Romans into the spears, and then we're also going to be getting the, the remainder of our archers to target these Romans, but they're mostly going to get cleaned up anyways, so the spearmen helping to map, mop those guys up, but now after sending all of those Syrian archers to tire out our guys, he sends in the rest of those Praetorians who are waiting in the back, and they're going to be engaging with our pikemen who are too busy trying to chase off those routing cavalry, and they're getting charged in the back, so that's less than optimal, obviously. And this Praetorian unit, I think you'll see uh, some of the shots starting to come in. Uh, we were having a little bit of boat problems. All of us were trying to target the same unit, so the boats kind of got stuck on each other. So uh, a problem with the uh, the fleet at this point, uh, we wish we could have them all turning about, facing this position and shelling those guys. That would have hopefully turned the tide of battle and really bought more time for our forces. The last pike block is going to be positioning itself to hold these guys back, but the Romans are mostly going to go ahead and ignore it. Again, positioning themselves in very well-disciplined forces. Look at this. Going around all sides. And the pikes basically don't know where to go, so they're going to try and continue to reform, mostly facing to this corner, which is most dangerous. But here we go. Getting just charged upon from all sides. And the Pella in the back is going to be the, uh, the worst. So that's going to be the end of this last resistance, cutting them down to the last man. However, we still have some guys in the back. However, like I said, those are going to be our reservists, almost the citizenry, you could imagine, being sent to the back. So some of the archers are going to be moving up. And there's not much you can do against these urbans. Uh, our best hope would be to have a big cavalry charge. However, these are these are light cav. They're not going to be doing very much. So now the Romans are forming up. They're going to take this last volley from a reservist. But yeah, hope is not really well holding up. It's going to be dwindling at this point. Still getting some volleys off against these Romans. But they've formed up in Testudo. So a very fit ending to the Romans storming this position. Forming up in Testudo hoping to hold off against our archer fire and once they're fully formed they're going to take almost no damage and then they're going to start their slow monotonous uh, march up this final plaza over the bodies of our comrades into the last defending area that we have left so now they're formed up they're going to be moving quickly and the rest of the cav are sort of out of distance the commander orders the assault and now we can kind of just watch as the roman war machine pushes forward so we could try and pick our targets. These are relatively big blobs, but just because of the over, uh, you know, oversize of the Roman shields and the, uh, the their formation, we're not going to be punching through this anytime soon. So our guys are going to start to waver, and there's not much we can do. Our artillery from the ships, wishing they could get some shots in. However, at this point, because we've been sort of fumbling, we finally get out of that position. We're going to try and form up to get some last shots, but uh, at this point, the Romans are out of range. Hopefully we can get them in position. You can see me starting to swivel this last radius here. Watch it. It's going to start to swivel in position. I'm hoping to intercept these guys. I was hoping for a miracle shot that would just come and clip almost right through this compact testudo. Hold those guys up. Expose them from our, uh, you know, the archer fire on the side. But it looks like actually one of our units has fallen back. We do still have some reserves positioned over here. But for the most part, 
the uh, it's gonna be a general route. I can't remember if I got some of these last shots to connect, but uh, my feeling was they didn't. Romans are now gonna be forming up in the last line, eyeing us, and now they break out of Testudo. They've made it through the most dangerous part, so they're gonna be pushing forward soon. And I think at this point, where are these cavalry going? Ah, we tried to have a counter charge. <laughs> we finally got through the gates. We burned through those gates. So this was our counter charge. We're trying to do everything to hold the Romans back. Didn't want these cavalry moving forward. So we counter charge, uh, kind of hope. Yeah, without hope. They already turned around, they're already routing. So not much we could do, but at least we kept the cavalry away from that. But at this point, uh, yeah, our guys just started routing. There was no hope. So I hope you guys enjoyed that very cinematic battle. Hopefully it does more justice to the Siege of Alexandria than my last Siege of Alexandria battle I did a while back where it was me against an opponent. Pretty epic battle as well, but uh, my opponent kind of ninja'd into the city itself. I took the city to uh, the battle to him outside the city. He kind of snuck into the city center, whereas this battle, you can see it was not at all a sneaky fight. It was basically just fight to the death in the center. So let's go ahead and look at some of the stats that you can see here. So Paulus really didn't deploy too many men. Uh, he mostly focused on having our own uh, artillery units here. Mostly having them on board ships. Um, this guy here had most of our heavy infantry and I had a mix. Elephants racking up a lot of kills. But look at the Romans. This guy right here who brought the Praetorian Guard. These were the guys who mopped it up at the end. And then the supporting Syrian archers did a lot of damage. This cavalry strike didn't do too much. And mostly the Roman... Um, ships or just uh, enough to hold us at bay and keep us from intercepting their main uh, push on the siege uh, on the what would it be the west side you know which, which side I'm talking about but anyways fun battle hope you guys enjoyed see you next time